It's there. Good morning, Facebook family and friends. This is yours truly, Apostle Paul Smith, bringing you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for today. We thank God for God's grace. We thank God for His mercy. Most of all, we just thank God for His presence. Uh, Psalm 46 1 makes us to know, and you know that scripture quite well. It says, God is our refuge and our strength. Very present help in trouble. Amen. So we thank God for being our refuge and our strength and a very present help even in trouble. Amen. We know we serve a God who is always concerned about us. Amen. That's the kind of God that we serve. Amen. We, we serve a God who cares about us. Amen. God cares about you, my brothers and my sisters. And God cares about who he loves, who has his heart in mind. Amen. Amen. So we certainly thank God for this day. I want to just bring you a quick scripture coming from Psalm 27, 14. Amen. Psalm 27, 14. And it simply says, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Thy will strengthen you. Amen. Wait, I said, on the Lord. Amen. Wait. That word, wait. W-A-I-T. Um, sometimes it's a hard word, um, hard pill to swallow. When we have to find ourselves in our life having to wait. Amen. It comes with patience. Amen. But things don't always go our way. Amen. And while we as believers sometimes know that all things will work together for the good, we still sometimes don't want to wait. We want to be like the microwave oven, right? Um, make the request and within 30 seconds it's, it's given to us. Amen. But sometimes God wants us to wait. Amen. And sometimes during that waiting season, it presents to us all types of challenges. All types of uh, troubles and hiccups and trials and, and which makes really, to be honest with you, <laughs> um, I'm beginning to understand now that sometimes um, the challenges can be interesting and can be fun to have to deal with. Amen. Because it tests our faith. Amen. God bless you there, Pastor Ellis. Amen. Challenges and trials and struggles test our faith. Amen. Amen. So when the psalmist says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage. Amen. It really means that for us who have to go through whatever season we have to go through in life. Amen. How painful, how difficult, and, and, and actually and how good it may be. Amen. We don't always get what we want in the right time. Right? But God's time is not our time. Amen. Amen. God's ways are not our ways. Amen. But for the believer, those who believe in the body of Christ. Amen. Who has a heart for God and a heart for God's people. We have learned how to wait. Amen. Learn how to wait. So the psalmist says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. And that means no matter how difficult <laughs> people make your life, or people try to make your life. Amen. Amen. Be of good courage. doesn't matter how difficult um, people try to um, tear you down and pull you down. The psalmist makes us to know. Be of good courage. You know, the Bible makes us to know um, God has not given us the spirit of fear, right? God has also prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Amen, amen. So sometimes when we're being attacked, amen, and I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place. I'm, I'm just want to give you a word of encouragement based on my experience with God. God bless you there, Linda. Um, but when, when you have to be under that um, cloud of not knowing what's going to happen from one day to the next because people have a way of doing things to try to discourage you, the psalmist makes us to know in Psalm 27, 14. Wait. Wait. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And what? And God would strengthen us. He would strengthen us. He would give us enough power. He would give us enough authority. He would give us enough control so that we can be able to manage whatever circumstances that may come our way. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we don't know what's coming our way until it comes our way. Amen. Amen. And so the psalmist says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen you. Amen. And, said, and, and the psalmist makes us to know, um, just a reminder, just wait on the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, as we endure this new season in ministry, um, we're here in Kenya on our third visit. Amen. Amen. And, and so we're excited um, for what God is doing in the life of Possible Ministry. Um, on behalf of my team, uh, Possible Ministry International, all across the continent of Africa, as well as in Washington, D.C. and Maryland, 
we, we, we want to thank you so much for your support and for your prayers. Amen. Keep it up. Keep on praying for us. Because we know that anytime we call out the name of Jesus in this work, demons tremor, right? And when demons tremor, that means that the people, those who have a, um, a mission or a, or, a, a, or a goal to try to tear down something that God has built up, then we know that we're doing the right thing. Amen, amen. So wait, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Amen, amen. So again, we're here in Kenya. Um, and um, 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 there's always people traffic coming up here where I'm located. And um, But we're here. Um, we'll be here until through the month of December. And um, just want to, again, thank you so much for your thoughts and for your prayers. Amen. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thee. Wait, I say, on the Lord. God bless you there. May heaven smile upon you. Keep the faith and know that God is concerned about you. God bless you there.